Hey folks, and welcome back to the DLC for the Low Chaos Run of Dishonored. So, we've already seen uh, how Robokai hand, uh, handles, handles things and how Dowd probably canonically hand, uh, handled things, but now we're basically going to be asking, what if Dowd had a little bit of a coming to God moment when the Outsider showed up? So, as again... This is going uh, going to be like the original campaign, no deaths, maximum uh, maximum robberies, final destination. And along with me on this on this larceny ride are hey everybody, it's Lars Robokai here. I'm looking forward to this. Although I will say, apparently people have told me that the low chaos version of this is the canonical one. Uh, so really, yeah. Well, it ties in. Apparently, the low chaos version of Dishonored is the canonical one as well. Uh, which probably okay, makes sense, because there wasn't much done ball left when I was finished with it. <laughs> and I'm Orv, and I'm here to be the metaphorical angel on Cool Guy's shoulder, except the bad one, because uh, what else would I be? <laughs> the, the, que the question he keeps asking is, why isn't he stabbing things? He's supposed to be murderous. Why isn't he murderous? Let's go answer that question. Yo, push that guy down the stairs, chief. <laughs> One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. It was interesting when Another you set of subtitles doesn't work. <laughs> I, I noticed that when I when I was recording this, it was just the subtitles randomly decided they they were taking a beer break. I was just gonna say it's it's interesting when you think about it because the way they come up to to get to here is exactly the way that you as Corvo end up going up. So it's they don't close that security loophole. They do not. <laughs> in fact, in, I think they put up a speaker. I think uh, that you can drop on a dude. I didn't notice it there before. So basically, yeah, nice work, guys. Good work. That's what. What are the odds I would get assassinated the same way somebody else got assassinated? Pretty good, as it turns out. You know, I wonder how they arrange that because as far as I'm aware, those actors are in the same way do that as Corvo, so I wonder if they just put the camera in Dowd's head and just ran it over, or if they had to do something specific. Man, I would really love to know that, because I noticed that, uh, that as well when I was uh, when I was watching this again. Also, boners. Nice! <laughs> this is off to That's a roaring It's gonna be a first, I think, for, uh, for the Dishonored LP. I mean, fall, not falling off of things, but falling off in the dream sequences. Yeah, so uh, it took me a minute to get, that I get used to precisely how how the uh, blink power was working for Dowd. That was my learning process right there. Dowd, my old friend. It's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. I always like the outsider when he talks about how he finds people interesting. Like, he, like, he gives people his gift, but he doesn't tell them specifically what to do with it. And in Dowd's case, like, it, we never, I don't think we ever really find where Dowd came from, but he builds himself a small empire, but then just, you know, operates it. You know, even by his own admission, mm -hmm. just sort of gets stuck in the groove, just becomes another element of, of, the, of, yeah, of what the power uses to, uh, and to kill everybody and kill one another and basically just becomes part of the system and that's largely why the outsider is you know saying he's interesting again because he must have just gotten absolutely boring it's funny to that to, that to see you mention that robokai that just because it is interesting in that um for 6 months in in that that theme also shows up in the book the perfect kill by robert bear he basically it's book. almost like a stream of consciousness book about oh, laws for assassins and he relates it to the most successful assassin in Mushy. basically the 20th century this one lebanese cat named oh, yeah. uh, uh that he aliases as haj rodwan um and basic, basically bear just points out that he was incredibly um it was a ship called the delilah he was incredibly successful Pretty much up until the time he got really comfortable. A former deckhand who'd made good. 
Now he owned a slaughterhouse, and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. So yeah, my uh, my loadout is a little bit different from yours. <laughs> You're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I love how dramatic all, all of Billy's you. motions are. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. She also immediately endears herself with that rune. I really wanted you to like her. You have to give me back my time card. I can't get back hey, in. Billy's a, Billy's no a nice right lady. To take it. She's cool, you yeah, know. It works. I like her. Try and get past me, and I'll see you. There's no way. Not huh. Well, Nilly did already. Uh, if you remember at the end of the High Chaos Room, confiscate those cards. No exceptions. Yeah, I keep uh, me pointing out that you can assassinate her at pretty much any time. Hey! And getting it started <laughs> oh, off <wow>. right. <laughs> See, I, I I maintain that the that the choke is so no, really isn't. fucking wonky. No, so it is not. Game. It is, dude. I was like three feet behind him. Yeah, that's three too inches far. behind him. No, rather. you were too far. Ball crap! I was I, too far. I choke too far. The dishonest <laughs> story. Maintain that it is wonky. Uh, we go. Got ourselves a gun. If nobody gives me any ideas for a science episode for DLC, yeah, I'll just go around and choke everybody out on it. Yeah. That hey, is gonna... disrespectful <laughs> as hell. Man, they really pissed during your runs. What's up with that? Like, <laughs> yes, hey, there's a lot of pissing going on. Hey, wow, that that couldn't have been a better start. Oh my god, I was so happy. So happy he ate all the sardines, all the mackerels. <laughs> huh? Honestly, like the big, the biggest thing that I had to get used to uh, here was not having my sneaky feet. Yeah, I really sort of. It was just, that that was <laughs> legitimately something that was messing. Well, with Well, he's me. already dead anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I needed the money. Well, we we, so we, we saw what so we saw what happened with me without my sneaky feats in, in my episode too. I took I didn't even take a, like half a step, and everyone went hey. There's a man out on the river watching the place. If I weren't so young and pure of heart, I'd suggest he's up to no good. Out of curiosity, what uh, what were what difficulty were you playing at Robokai? Uh, just what is the whatever is the equivalent of normal? Like they call him veteran or something. Yeah, I was playing on Elite, which is the highest one, or which is the highest one you you can have without beating the DLC once. And obviously, since I'm going into this blind, the yeah, excuses, excuses. <laughs> that's a thing. Yeah, but we all know like you like to you like to punish yourself. I like to like run into things and fall over and go, "Ow, yeah. that hurt," and then do it again. Yeah, I mean the the st stealth 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 can be difficult to make uh, to make interesting at the best of times. If everything is dumb as a post, and god damn, uh, dude. Oh, jeez. Wow. They're they're butchering the health and safety laws of this nation. That's what they're doing. And presenting. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, you've got me now, really? Mr. Assassin. What are you going to do? <laughs> anyway. It's just a... It's just a, uh... Just a tradition among butchers, clearly. Couldn't even use the he fell on his weapon thing. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you two? What isn't is a better question. Probably just the wind. <laughs> sure. You saw, you saw a dude on strangled unconscious outside and it's probably just the wind. Well, you know, the wind could have like dropped on him. Uh, 
Hey, dude. Later, dude. This is a reminder that collective bargaining in the industry deemed vital. There we go. Is a capital offense. These Good night. Whale collection and refinement. That actually helps me out a lot. There's a, there's a suspiciously large number of people on the uh, on the in, the inside of this uh, of this yard. Mm. Case in point. Yeah, the uh, and the, with the way the game likes to you know run its patrol routes to fill in the gaps that you create. Which I still think is like one of the cooler things a game can do. Mm -hmm. like it can like you can get caught out by someone at a particularly long distance. It's good. I like it. I like that the, this game, this particular level, really captures wide open spaces, and the uh, and the difficulties one would have try to sneak them. Oh man, I'm so glad I got strong arms back quickly. Hello, dude. The ultimate in nap technology. Yeah. For a dude the size of a bull elephant, he kind of not much for it. Nah. He kind of kind of fell down pretty quick. That's okay. Any old any old excuse for a nap. He might, might not have even have worked. He's just gone. Oh, awesome! I can take the rest of the day off. Roatan, the assassin and one-time royal protector, has escaped from confinement and is at large with. I just appreciate how that helps date the date where this particular one takes place. The slaughterhouse butchers are locking workers in the pump control station by the docks. If you could get in there, I bet the workers would tell you just about anything you wanted to know. Right, so this ends up happening shortly after Cold Ridge, Pr uh, Cold Ridge Prison. So, we're pro like, as Corvo, we're probably just, si uh, just sizing up the uh, High Overseer at this point. The, du the dudes seriously do have some pretty keen sen uh, senses on this difficulty level, considering that, uh, that there's mm. still an another another difficulty level above it. I'm honestly glad that it, uh, that it locked it off, otherwise I might, I might have ended up hurting myself. Okay. I, I just love the lean. I guess, like, mm -hmm. can, I, can I just say that? Like, I don't think I've ever said it yet, but the lean in in Dishonored is just... I don't think you could play this game without it, and so many stealth games have so many systems for trying to figure that stuff out, but, like, for the first person one, the lean is just... It's so oh, good. yeah, and particularly with just the, just the, uh, the semantics of it that allows you to... <clears throat> allow, allows you to keep watch of somebody without necessarily you know, keeping your butt in plain view. Like like what I'm literally doing right here. Crawling all over everything. Mm. Uh, That's one of the few good things the fourth did. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like it really wanted to be dishonored when dishonored really wanted to be thief. It's kinda of funny how that works. Get past that wall of light contraption they put If you can shut it off lift past the city watch when the time is right. And the good news is, with strong arm, you can actually. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I gotta be a little bit quicker than that. I was figured you'd be able to get a double choke in pretty quick, but uh, not to be, I guess. You gotta choke out the one you smoke first, because he'll. Yeah, That's see, one. there's a number of things. <laughs> They're not exactly in a position to resist that. Oh, uh, is that a good idea? <laughs> are you are you gonna? I'm gonna let him out anyway. Okay. I was. I, <laughs> I was gonna say it seems like you've just you've just pulled See, a mean day. I, well, I also don't intend to actually blow up the uh, the refinery the way you did. So that's a good point. They're still gonna be frightened of me forever because I stole something. But you know, they're not going to die. Whatever, man. You'll be fine. Kind of weird how that works. I, the, if you man, if you manage to take it without um, without alerting him, nice. <laughs> oh, that must have looked on his end. He's like, what I the fuck? <laughs> I don't even know how the gravity worked for that. You're, you're down, down, down. He says as he pulls a fish out of his shirt and throws it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> fish in the big pond. 
I want to know about his ship. <laughs> Water spilling out of every orifice. <laughs> Down. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like closes one nostril so he can snort out a bunch of seawater. Rich man who's keen on seeing Rothwild's business go belly up. His whole business with the strike. How do I? Can't you just pay attention to a person for five seconds? <laughs> oh my God, he's expositioning at you about stuff that we've already heard before. But you know what? I was supposed to meet up last night. I've been spying on the place all day, waiting to hear word. I, mean, I haven't seen or heard of a guy in a boat sitting out in the middle of fucking nowhere is gonna be pretty You're conspicuous. I gotta say. Anyway, maybe you could find her. Like, I think the only saving grace for him is the angle he's at is a bit wonky. But if like one of those guys went out in the balcony, they'd be like, "Hey, what's that guy doing down there?" He's been there all morning. Is he trying to steal our whale? Could it be <laughs> it's something to do with the strike that's happening today? Hmm. Perhaps. But yeah, if you uh, if you steal the time card off that one guy without alerting anybody and then release them, he's they they're actually programmed to deal with that. He's just like, well, I guess you took what you wanted anyway, but you know, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> they they did they did think of of you you running some shenanigans. Yeah, this uh this game is always really good about that. Which makes me especially excited that it leaked a couple days ago that maybe Prey 2 is back. Whoa, I didn't. I heard that Prey 2 was back. I did not hear that Arcane East was making it. I do, Cook! Well, yeah. that, that, that has been a rumor <laughs> for a while that, uh, that the, uh, the Arcane teams d denied. Well, the, the show notes, the show notes for, uh, Bethesda's Ooh, conference leaked. So. That's a that's a new a new level of reliable that we haven't seen before. Yeah, I mean it's been like I said, it's been it's been a, a thing that people have been like saying was was happening like for a while. And they they denied it and then I think accidentally uh sent off an email like that basically confirmed it, uh, and also like was like really rude about the people who were asking the question. <laughs> it was just like nice. <laughs> nice guys. Like you know the uh, the story with what happened with Prey Two, I can imagine probably hits a bit. You know, if true, uh, probably hits home pretty hard on a studio like Arcane. Okay, no, I'm not gonna go too much further into that because it's all yeah. Because we don't we don't know the entire story yeah, yet. Be it's... Best not uh, not to uh, record something forever until <laughs> we're sure of its veracity. <laughs> yeah, and and you know maybe and you know end up getting sued for saying terrible shitty things about a company that might not be true. Oh well. But... Anyway, yeah, now I'm just sort of forget uh, forgetting what I was doing for a while because uh, because I was like so deliriously happy at being able to shoot speakers again. <laughs> hey, remember remember the remember the fridge, the safe, the fridge, what? The safe, the secret code. I, I get it on the way out, is... actually. Ah, uh, okay, that's all right then. Hey, hey, you missed it too. Got it. <laughs> I Jesus got it that Christ. Time. It's moving. Well, you, you, you try to catch a moving moving chain when you're like. Well, no. yeah, but it, it's still moving. It's not that hard. It, it is the hardest thing in the game. Chains are like noodly enemies of danger. Rockwell's got a stubborn reputation. Yeah, there it is. It's not even a not even a little icon for choke out. It's just straight up give it the stabs. Yep. You and this will happen a lot. It's like what me in that one episode. Hang on, I got an idea this time. No, it's true. <laughs> Is he calling you a liar? The gears are turning. Get over here. Come on, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I'm still, I'm still playing around with my new powers here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> right in the kisser. This visceral nice. is all get out of that one. At, at least it wasn't a grenade. I do appreciate how much easier it is to knock more, these guys down. Uh, a bit more brick happy, aren't they? Oof. 
Yeah, see, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to exploit the whole time stop portion to get behind one of these guys and then grab them before they realize I'm behind them. It's not going very, uh, very well. It's still ra uh, rather hard to do that. Anyway, so, plan B. Run and hide? <laughs> uh, run and get bricked? Well, yeah, run, run and get bricked. Pick up, uh, pick up his two buddies. Uh, jeez. I got this. I got this. I don't know what you're worried about. Not worried so much as the use. Alley up. Alley up. Alley on the Run that by me again? I don't know. He said Alianze, which is, just, you know, he's watching too much Doctor Who recently or something, I guess. That's super not how you pronounce that. <laughs> okay. How do you pronounce it? Nice job, though. Alonzi. Okay. Alonzi. I'll be perfectly honest with you, I don't even know what the word means. I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded the right thing to say at the time. You goddamn Australian. <laughs> <laughs> Destroying our culture like those damn Americans. Hey, look, if it was an Australian pronunciation, it'd probably be like, Hey, Lonzi. I know what this is. The makeshift Get out of my way, Billy. No, oh, she's got exposition aid. <laughs> Still, that, that, that shaking fist clench. Hey, if anyone wants uh, wants to do all the work for us, find out if those uh, if those names on that thing are in the credits. <laughs> hmm. That's a fair point. I had not thought of that. It's just, you know, it's one of those little things. That, it like, does you know. sound like something Arcane would do. Yeah, you know. Like, oh, it's it's a tradition with, with game developers and development. There's always, like, you know, secret dev rooms or little notes referencing devs or, you know, graveyards that have developers' names in them and things like that because the project yeah. violently murdered their soul. It's one of those things. I, I almost feel like my money collecting here is a little bit futile ju uh, just because, you know, there's about 2,000 coins maximum in the in this level. And the maximum I can get is 1,500 because uh, you get 500 for destroying the joint, and I'm not going to do that. That's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, there is, there is, there is a little leeway on the... Uh, get all of the money and run away achievements so that you don't have to, like, follow a specific way of doing things. <laughs> Ross Wild, still, still a weird, creepy dude. It's good to know. Seriously, I'm not even sure how that guy saw me. Well, you're on, you're on an extremely high uh, difficulty, and yeah. he has an extremely large set of eyes, I guess. What up, homie? Occasionally you don't fuck it up. Oh god. Occasionally. <laughs> <Right>. Occasionally. <laughs> Occasionally, uh, <laughs> I, I, would, I would argue this might, might, might be a worse fucking up than, uh, the movie. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Uh, well, I'm glad you're showing off how lethal they are more than I am. <laughs> quote, In unquote, low chaos. <laughs> well, you know, Come it's... on. Group up, you little dorks. There. Oh, you get a hug? You get okay. a hug? You get whiffs and hug. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Face down in the blood. No, I can't be bad for him. He's only conscious. It's okay. No, no more. No more so than falling on you know that weird circle saw like I imagine that one cat did. Yeah, that sounded really weird. It's so loud. Hey, you got the you got the ability I like. Yeah, so I'm uh, I I'm really getting lucky with bone charms here. Mm. I think we both tended to get bone charms that sort of suit what we're doing, though. I mean, like I was I got ones for like 
you know, stabs from the air give me health, which is an extremely easy thing to chill, uh, like to cheese in this game. So it's like, you know, basically just turns turns fights into like micro health packs. Meanwhile, I got whirlwind and strong arms on the penultimate mission of the original game. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep, you sure did. You clean all the guts off the killing floor. Shut your blowhole. Get back to work. <laughs> oh my god, the contempt in that response still gets me every time I hear it. Yeah. Alright. Come on. Turn around. Okay, there you fantastic. Go. Now it's time to get loads of money. And also choke dudes. I didn't want to just let him drop be, uh, because, like, with the with the last three, how the hell did he even see that slash hear that moments? I was just like, I'm not even risking it anymore. Nope, that's good. Uh. Yeah, I suppose we should probably clarify because I don't think I I clarified it uh, in uh, when I was doing it. But the one of the, the major features of Blink with its time stop is is if you're actually physically motioning yourself, like trying to make yourself move. Uh, the time stop does does cease, so um, like you probably noticed it when I was doing it. Noticed when cool guys doing it, but yeah, that's uh, right. So you you can that. do yeah you can do like running blinks, but Dowd's uh, Dowd's blink appear, appears to have a much lower <laughs> hello, <laughs> much shorter range than Corvo's. So uh, you 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 tend to have to be a little bit more careful. <laughs> Speaking of not being God careful, damn it. Man, you are like a, a self-fulfilling unprophecy right now. Wow, you can't even bounce I this guy. I swear to God! <laughs> Just give him the nap times. He's 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 murderous. I was try, uh, trying to trying to Goomba stomp him and do all of that mess, but that didn't work. But no, he seems to be immune to being stomped. It's really Probably weird because because his uh, his buddies get Goomba stomped so easily. Oh, this guy, this guy has a hot head. God damn, those teeth still mess with me. <laughs> you are so lazy with this stealth. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh. <laughs> You're just like, eh, eh. He sees me, might as well teleport right in front of him. <laughs> well, I mean, it was hard to tell which way he was gonna turn. That I was just like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. We made a joke a couple times in the original game that you weren't necessarily a good guy just because you were in low chaos. Now I'm not convinced that wasn't all just like a massive fuck up that you were covering for it. <laughs> I'm shaking my head. Man. I, I like I like how they the, the designs they've done for, like, the whales, too. They're just different enough. Just different enough to be sort of like, there's there's something wrong here. You know, yeah, just plays with the back though. of your head. Ah, oh, well, you know, a sperm whale has a shitload of teeth in it. I'm guessing that's the design they're going for with that one. Oh, uh, they have a shitload of teeth. They don't they don't have teeth the, si uh, the size of a fully grown man. Well, you know, that's a... Uh, no, that's one of the little differences, I guess. I was talking more about the whiskers. But yes, they are extremely large teeth. Yeah, that was that was the th that was the thing that got me immediately when I saw these guys. It was just like, oh, okay, big old choppers. What shall we do with you? Yeah, I think I think. I think honestly, what uh, what they like the direction they came with was just let's cross a great white shark with uh, with a sperm whale and see what happens. What a sad song, the old behemoth. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks right at me when I sit here to have my nightcap. Yeah. Look at me. Oops. <laughs> Remember, everybody, this is the guy who always gives me grief about, like, about codes and everything like that. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Swift Stalker, though. Really getting lucky on these things. Yeah, you know, you'll go quick no matter, like, what state you're in. I'm not really listening to that audio log anymore. No, he's... 
It's just like it comes off as a little tryhardy, I guess. How much does he know by now? Ramsey? No, this is about the workers. I love the I love the innocent tone she puts on. Don't bother. You're not the first of his mold. Especially since she's been caught trying to like set up to explode the place. Extra elixir rations, bags of coins, bonuses. But you're about to see that my generosity is counterbalanced. Wait, who is that? Seriously, what did he even? How did you? Damn it! What happened to my sleep dart? It would be amazing if he did pass out in the middle of the sequence, but it's quite obvious they despawn and rearrange everybody. I'm here for Arg. About the Delilah. Who hired? Are you here? I'm very bad at making eye contact. You in your special chair, Rothwild. Well, that's all right, because Abigail is very bad at like, you know, physically turning to speak to someone. She just sort of like. She's giving you very bad. You won't be taking me alive. Nope, 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 nope. Stop running away. Stop running away. Alright, so. Douche. Alright, so now we know what we need to do. We gotta go, uh, gotta go put this guy in the chair. I like the mechanism on the cross. Yeah, I noticed that, the way it sort of just slides a new one in place. The wrist bow as a whole is just really well done. You know, we're talking about how, how silly it is, but at the same time, how cool it is. Oh yeah. The, the rule of cool is very much in force in Dowd's DLC, and I have absolutely no problems with anything like that. I know all about the Delilah. All of it. <laughs> I don't Honestly, the first care. time I did this, I didn't even bother talking to her after this because it was just Not like, I know exactly where I gotta slap this dickhead. From you in exchange. That's what I thought. What? We're both professionals, Mr. Dowd. I was hired to get these gutless. <laughs> She's like so much more deceitful now. Well, she was kind of like, like very much uh, a cornered rat before. She was very much like probably the realization was she was completely fucked and there was no way out of it. And then. Opportunity knocked in an extremely unexpected sort of way. Industrial bits, especially. Just open all the valves at once to let the oil start flowing. The pressure will go out of control and boom. What about the people inside? <laughs> Growing a conscience? The factory workers are already out. My boss will hire them on, in better conditions than they'd ever see here. Not the butchers, though. They can die screaming for all I care. Don't try and kill. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Here's the key. Don't get caught. You take care of the slaughterhouse and I'll tell you everything I know about the Delilah. You know, I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? Because it's a long and messy solution. And I'm gambling here not. I still love that they thought, you know, why couldn't you just do that as a solution? You, you know, it's not it's different to the to the binary selection that you could normally do. I like it. Yeah, in in this in this run we'll be handling it, we'll be messing with Rothwild, but it is a perfectly legitimate situation to just let Rothwild run uh, run away and deal with her instead. Oh, okay, great. My I didn't my, get hurt my, per for my personal favorite thing about uh, about what you can do with Abigail is it actually has a uh, has an effect on on how the campaign progresses. Actually. How you interact with Rothbard also has an effect on how the, how the, uh, how the, like, how events progress in the game, too. Uh huh. That's what I've heard. I haven't seen much of that but myself. Oh, also, the, uh... Billy, you need to, you need to chill, you need to chill out with that. No, oh, she's, she's, she's really excited about this. She really wants to watch this dickhead get tortured. Yeah, the whole, the whole enjoy this portion, I'm just like, you can calm down a bit. Billy doesn't have a safe word. <laughs> I want to know about a ship named Delilah. What's behind the name? Choke on your own spit. <laughs> it's like, you could have just, you could have just told me. He's like, is Delilah. Seriously, you know what's coming, dude. At the first tickle. That's the kind of thing I pay your sister for down at the Golden Cat. We'll feed you through your own factory. See if we can get oil out of your blubber. <laughs> but it's true, you can get that out. You know your work, I'll give you that. We can talk this out, like businessmen. Why did you name it Delilah? What do you care? 
And it wasn't me. The previous owner named That's us. not talking like a businessman. Bundry. Who was the previous owner? Barrister Timps, all right? He told me the story. Delilah was a woman. Grew up working on Dunwall Tower. And got kicked out. Became a painter. With funny airs like being proud. She goes out. <laughs> He couldn't think of anything else, just her. She whirled into his mind somehow. He built that ship for her and a lot more. Gave her half his fortune. Then he got scared. Came to me afraid. Man, like that, afraid. He wanted to dump the ship and I needed a business partner, so we made a deal. Meant to change the name. Wish I'd done it. Yeah, but you didn't, did you? I hope that was satisfying. Here's the room key. When you're ready to go. Sir, earlier I spotted crates bound for the most remote corner of the Empire. Might be worth stuffing in one, just to tie things off. He doesn't seem the type to forgive, of course. Why go through all the trouble, when a blade to the neck would accomplish the same thing? I really appreciate the uh, the way of handling handling this non lethally here because you know it, it is it is tech one of those things that's technically technically non lethal but oh my god it's kind of horrifying. Well, everything yeah everything about it is uh, is a very like horrible thing. I mean, we're essentially putting this guy in a box so he will get shipped halfway across the world on a very fast ship. But to get home will, uh, you know, will take him a very long time. And by the time he gets back, um, it's very likely he won't have a, uh, he, he won't have a place to come back to. Yep, word of is gonna be long gone. Speaking of slandering video game studios, I wonder if Arcane is just created entirely by sadists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? There has to be some serious, uh, some seriously twisted stuff go uh, going on to uh, to think this junk through. Anyway, so uh, I went to leave here, but I realized later that I forgot a few things. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, to uh, to I not forgot fall a down few things. things. <laughs> the, the powers of gravity. Yeah, I also forgot a bone charm in here. There's the there's the one yep. in the locker room. Yep, that's the one I missed nine times out of ten. That's also right. the one that gives me the most trouble trying to locate it. Yet, you know, I actually did it without fucking up this time. Yeah, I, I, I got, I, I ended up trying to record the last, the last section. Which, by the way, the, the, if you think this part gave me trouble, oh my god, the la the last two minutes of the, of this video, are just. <laughs> the biggest nightmare for me and it's not because of anything i particularly did it was because for whatever stupid reason the game insisted on count on counting mu uh, a music box overseer is dead if uh if, if i did like basically anything to him you know so it was practically impossible to get uh, to get clean hands the uh, the way i had i had said i was going to here uh, unless you know i like triple checked the music box overseer it was such a nightmare <laughs> uh, i can see that why that might be a problem if the, you know the oh my god I was just... murdering somebody is it because he would just like fall off that like very slight drop and land on his neck and break it no I, he wouldn't even do that i the only thing i can figure is that he um like got caught under the music box or something like that I crushed it was it. And, like crushed by his own music box it was like com it was completely insane i was i was it honestly took it took me like half an hour of of retries just to just to get one constellation where i didn't lose clean hands that is so rough. fucking obnoxious i think you deserve it hey i, I think i think you need to shut your mouth
Okay, yeah. great. No saw blades, only shushies now. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Now let's now move on. Things we didn't do. I see here is six two four. Different number. Yep, different. The different one from yours. That's for damn sure. Of course, you know, now not after, <laughs> now after I, I, I feel like, like it would be really the, not that it matters sort of situation, because you know it's like, you know, if you don't take the if you don't take the note anyway, you won't get the the time card. That's in there. Whichever. Small scale explosive refinement. That's always nice. Pouch. Okay, so one last rune, and we're good. Get our present. Attention. Alright, so my initial plan was to distract them over, right? Because they'll move. Trust me, they'll move. But if you make noise. Well, I'm just, I was just try uh, trying to figure out how exactly I wanted to do this. Because the sword the sword wielding overseers will move very quickly, as you can see. But the music box guy will just stroll along very, very slowly. You try to run with one of those on your back. Right. God damn it. <laughs> and technically you just... Didn't she just leave? Yeah. Yeah, I... That's just that's just it. I just try had to, I just had to get the music box overseer away from her. Thank you. Let's go. I'm worried they sent for the hounds. Well, that's probably Delightful. a lot. Yeah, probably a lot easier than actually trying to fight all of them. Okay, but now we've got a problem. <laughs> Billy can't get across until he until that music box guy's gone. No, he is gone. She is only scripted to try to blink once. And if the blink is blocked, well, that's that then. So Billy's not going anywhere. Yeah. No. No, she's she's stuck there. Oh wow. That's a yeah, little un, so, that's, that's a little un arcane like to uh to Welcome back to Majesty, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> to uh She got a little dwarf blood in her, is that what this is about? <laughs> so I, I'm at this point, I'm sitting here just, like, trying anything. Uh, Billy. Billy. Billy, come on. Please. I'm sorry, Dad, I'm lurking. <laughs> you gotta stop Billy. 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 God damn it, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> so the hostilities. Nice. All right. Uh, We're doing that is how I would describe jumping on someone's head. <laughs> We're That's doing beautiful. this again. That's beautiful in every sense of the word. Okay. Okay. So. Unconscious. God damn, not the grenade! Stop it! Still unconscious. Okay. For fuck's sake. Let's go. I'm worried they sent for the hounds. You're still hanging dangerously close to Billy, all things considered, after what happened last time. I'm basically tr uh, trying to figure out whether or not it's going to be a damn issue. I'm still trying to figure out why you let the Empress's bodyguard go. <sighs> now Rothwild's snug in a box. What's got into you? Barrister Tim the fear of the outsider. I know it pretty well. From what I hear, the Timsh family is practically at war with itself. Talk to his niece Tali if you can. I should probably tag along when you go. Crazy rich people are buying up a lot of that Sokolov security technology these days. Keeps the weepers and looters out. I might be useful. Let's go. <laughs> Hey! Good God. 
<laughs> so we don't see the results screen, so we can only assume uh, the overseer died, choked on his own tongue. Oh my god! No, it, it was it was fine. The uh, the result the result screen was exactly what uh, what you would expect, and uh, <laughs> I, I guess I forgot I forgot to include it in this video, but. I sincerely doubt I'll, I'll be able to be bothered to go back and, and include it because, yeah, I mean, just no, no doubt, uh, nobody, <laughs> nobody died. I got most of the money. I got all of the things. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm you can see he's putting as much dumb. effort into his editing as he is into his not not alerting every single guard in the area. Jesus I'm God, gonna man. assume the results screen called you a massive fuck up. And that's what I said in there. It's just well, like a little like a little Billy Lurk in the corner with like with a set of balloons, just like doing a little dance. Going, that was bad. <laughs> no, well, I mean, there there was the whole dead and unconscious bodies found sex portion. So in that way, yes, I'm a massive fuck up. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine with that. This one's in my rear view mirror. Only in that way. Yeah, it's like, yeah, like, can you imagine being the butchers and that having that happen as well? It's like, yeah, you know, like the strike happens, and then this dude just like wanders in and starts bouncing on everyone's heads and annoying the shit out of everybody, and then he put everybody to sleep. And then, like, now our boss is missing, and the boxes are making noises. What the fuck's going on with this place? This is like, uh, whatever. I, I, I'm done. I'm not even <laughs> coming back. I don't even get paid for, paid enough for this. <laughs> Not even remotely. So next time we'll be we'll be headed off to uh, to the legal district. I again have no <laughs> idea what's going on there. So uh, expect expect more happy fun time fuck ups. I guess. Well, it'll be me first, and so we'll be uh, we'll be giving Tim's a right good murder. And as it's, I don't remember too much about the level. Uh, but I do know. You won't feel pity at all when the <laughs> team gets horribly murdered. So that's yeah, all good. Uh, doesn't surprise <laughs> me that much. It doesn't surprise me, but pretty pretty much all of the tar of the targets here richly richly deserve it. Yeah, it's like every single one of them when they were in like elementary school were asked to write down what they wanted to be uh, when they grew up, and most of them wrote a stabbed corpse. <laughs> <laughs>